All right, today's integral, if you just look at it really quick, you might think it's the same integral as last week. However, this time instead of sine x plus cosine x to the 11th, we have sinh x plus cosh x to the 11th. So an essentially hyperbolic trig of last week's integral. Now this one's a little weird, but it's actually a lot easier than last week. So the first week thing we can notice is we have sinh x plus cosh x. What we can do, we can recognize that this is a formula actually, sinh plus cosh is just e to the x. So we'll have e to the x to the power of 11 dx. However, I know not everyone's familiar with hyperbolic trigs, so they might not remember this formula. So I'm going to go, sh go through and show you how that works. Now, sinh x, if you remember, that is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Cosh x is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. So if we're adding sinh and cosh, that's the same thing as adding this and this, if we're adding all these together, they have the same denominator, so it's just adding the, the terms all over 2. So e to the x minus e to the negative x plus e to the x minus, or plus e to the negative x. Notice we're subtracting and adding e to the negative x, so these terms just go away. And we have 2 of just e to the x. So we'll have 2e to the x over 2. 2's cancel, we're left with e to the x. So that's where sinh plus cosh equals e to the x comes from. Allow me to erase this, and we're pretty much almost done. So e to the x to the 11th, if you remember um, an exponent formula, x to the a, all to the b. Power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So in our case, we have e to the x to the 11th, so we're going to multiply the x and the 11th. So this will equal the integral from 0 to 2 pi of e to the 11x. Doing a u substitution, just so this would be u equals 11x, du equals 11 or yeah, d equals 11, dx. We go through with that. I'm not going to go through the process. This is a simple use of, but this will equal e to the 11x over 11. And then we just got to plug in our bounds, 2 pi and 0. Now be careful here. So plug in 2 pi, that's easy. e to the 11 times 2 pi, that will be 22 pi over 11. And this is where we have to be careful. A lot of times you just plug in 0, the whole term just cancels out. Not this time. So we will have e to the 11 times 0. 11 times 0 is just 0, so we'll have e to the 0. But anything to the 0 is actually 1. So this will be minus 1 over 11. This is our answer. We could simplify it, like just combine the terms, make it look a little nicer. We'll have e to the 22 pi minus 1 all over 11. And that is our final answer. Pretty nice.